Hare Krishna dear devotees. This is the continuation of the video where I showed you how to make dhoti and kurta. In this video I will show you the final step which is making the chadar. So when you get the pattern you have to put the pattern like this and then turn it ulta and then cut the second piece so that you will get the correct chadar. And this is the sides of the chadar. This is also included in the pattern. So after cutting it will look like this. And I did some machine embroidery also. You can do hand embroidery if you don't have machine. So after cutting I'll stitch with my hand the same color thread and this round place is a little bit difficult to bend that's why you can cut it slightly and then bend and stitch So like this you will continue stitching the sides until they are half. So I stitched the sides. Now I'll attach. Now I'll so this part is made in the embroider machine. Uh, half applique format. So uh, as a result I don't need that extra work. Now we are gonna attach the sides plates of the chadar. I'll fold like this. And carefully see which side should be plated and stitched. I'll start stitching with the same color thread. So here the point is the we have to put the plates 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 yeah for the sides of the chatter. So it will look something like this. I won't show it in the video fully. You go and stitch until here. So finally this will look like this. Now I don't want to keep the back side undone. So that's why I will fold this place nicely. Otherwise, for long run, the threads will come out and then it's, mm, your work will be wasted. Fold like this and carefully stitch from the back side. So for this design, actually you don't need a sewing machine. You can do everything with your hand. Even embroidery you can do with your hand. Because the details are very small, dress is also small, so you cannot stitch everything in the machine. That's why most job is done in the hand. 
this hand so you see it looks very neat now now I completed the other side as well for Lord Nitai also and now I'm gonna attach like this so this chatter is meant to put only on one side of the shoulder not on both sides or through the neck you cannot put so it will be floating in the air because this much small chatter will stand on its own and it will be on the one side of the TT. Now I want to do some stonework too to try out how I can do it. I'm just using that vegan glue and the nail decoration stones which I showed in Janmashtami shopping video. So this machine embroidery is designed in such a way that you have space for stones. So that's why I chose this. And if you want this uh, exact embroidery file, like in PES format, PES format or different other formats, I may put the link in the description. So as a result, the stone work looks like it took for me two days to put on all the stones. I use this kind of rhinestones and use this vegan glue. The video doesn't show so much shine, but when you see in real life, it looks so better. And for the kurta, I used, again, nail decorating stones. This is like this. I just glued over the kurta without any pattern. I just glued. And for the waist belt, I'll, again, I glued the same stones. These are not rhinestones, just round balls, silver color. Now for Lord Chaitanya's chatter, I wanted something else. So again, the snail decorating stones I used to decorate the Lord Chaitanya's chatter. So this design here, I have a golden stuff stick. It's not real gold, just so I'll as a stem of the rose or a flower, I'll bend it, and accordingly on that embroidery, I'll start putting the stem of the flower with those sticks. And this glue is very nice. It just keeps everything in the place. I don't know after washing how it will be, but usually dresses of the deities we don't wash so often, only when they get dirty, and that to be washed very carefully, so I think they'll stay in place. So as you see, I'm creating a stem from this golden color sticks. And please let me know which chatter design and kurta design you liked most. The color combination, did you like Lord Nityananda's or Lord Chaitanya's? I will also tell in the end which one I liked. And uh, those nail decorating things have some leaves also, golden leaves. So I made use of them. On top of the embroidered golden leaves, I am putting the small uh, golden leaves. On Instagram, I posted photo of these deities and their dresses and I asked people which one of them look beautiful and most of you answered lord nityananda but at the end of this video i will tell whom i find whose dress i find very beautiful so those same 
nail decorating stones we're having this kind of hardship stones and luckily the flower of the i mean the embroidery flower also has a heart shape the petals so they look very nice So the final result and the same things I did in the Kurta of the Lord Chaitanya of Lord Chaitanya. So this is the final look of the chatter of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And here comes the full set for Janmashtami, getting ready for Janmashtami. Here in this video in the right side Lord Chaitanya doesn't have yet the stones on his kurta. But in the end of the video, you will see he will have. So personally, I mostly liked how Lord Chaitanya's dresses look nice. Like their color combination, contrasting colors, golden color is my beloved, one of my beloved colors. And the uh, stonework, I just loved how the stonework looks in real life you you just don't want to take out your eyes from the <laughs> lord's body because of this dress <laughs> yeah some for me lord chaitanya's outfit was very satisfying more is about lord chaitanya thank you so much Hare krishna